Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling the dreaded P0018 code, which refers to a crankshaft, camshaft correlation issue on Bank 2. If you've got this code showing up, your car's timing may be off, and you could experience rough idling, misfires, or even trouble starting. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through diagnosing and fixing it step by step. Before we dive into the fix, let's talk about what the P0018 code actually means. This error occurs when the engine control module ECM detects a mismatch between the crankshaft and camshaft positions on bank 2 of your engine. This can lead to poor performance and even damage if left unresolved. Damaged camshaft or crankshaft reluctor wheel, bad crankshaft or camshaft sensor, damaged wiring or loose connections, damaged timing chain, belt tensioners or guides, defective variable valve timing VVT actuator aka phaser, faulty variable valve timing VVT solenoid aka all control valve, a problem with the PCM, such as software in need of an update, low all level. Check engine light on the dashboard. Engine misfires. Poor engine performance. Difficulty starting. Engine stalling. Unusual noises. OBD scanner. Multimeter. Wrench set or socket set. Screwdriver. Brake cleaner or electrical contact cleaner. Rags or clean cloth. Replacement camshaft position actuator. Replacement crankshaft or camshaft position sensor. Engine all work gloves. Locate the all drain plug. It's usually on the bottom of the engine. Use your socket set to loosen the plug. Place the all drain pan underneath to catch the old all. Carefully remove the drain plug and let the old all drain completely while the all is draining. It's a good time to inspect the plug and washer for any signs of wear or damage. Now. Let's replace the all filter, using your all filter. Wrench, loosen and remove the old filter. Before installing the new one, lubricate the rubber gasket with a bit of fresh all. Screw on the new filter hand tight. With the old all drained and the new filter in place, it's time to add fresh all. Consult your car's manual for the correct all capacity and type. Pour it in using a funnel to avoid spills. Start your engine and let it run for a few minutes. Then. Turn it off and check the all level using the dipstick. Add more all if needed and recheck until you reach the correct level. Don't forget to dispose of the old all properly. Most auto parts stores accept used all for recycling. Never dump it in the trash or down the drain. Locate the camshaft all control valve. Depending on your vehicle, it's usually mounted on the cylinder head near the camshaft. You'll typically find it bolted to the engine. Block with an electrical connector attached. Clean the all control valve using a brake cleaner or electrical contact cleaner spray. The valve thoroughly to remove any dirt or sludge buildup. Be sure to clean the valve's filter and any passages. Wipe it down with a clean cloth and let it air dry for a few minutes. If you want to test the valve before reinstallation, use a multimeter to check the resistance across the valve's electrical terminals. The resistance should be within the manufacturer's specifications, usually between 6 to 12 ohms. If the reading is off, it's time to replace the valve. If your inspection or testing revealed that the valve is faulty, now's the time to replace it. Simply, install the new camshaft, all control valve in the same spot as the old one, following the same steps for securing the bolts and reconnecting the harness. First, we need to locate the crankshaft position sensor. It's usually near the bottom of the engine, close to the crankshaft pulley. Check your vehicle's repair manual if you're having trouble before replacing anything. Always check the sensor's wiring and connector, look for any loose, damaged, or corroded wires, and make sure the connector is seated properly. If you find any visible damage, you may just need to repair or replace the wiring. You will finding it. Now, let's check the sensor. Using your multimeter, test the resistance between the sensor terminals. 
A functioning sensor typically reads between 200 to 900 ohms. If your reading is outside this range, the sensor may be faulty. Locating the camshaft position sensor. Depending on your car model, the sensor can be found near the cylinder head or sometimes near the timing belt cover. Check your service manual to confirm. Next, we'll test the sensor to see if it's faulty. Unplug the sensor and check the wiring for any damage. Use a multimeter to check the sensor's resistance and voltage. Typically, the resistance should fall between a specified range. Check your car's manual for the exact values. If the sensor isn't within range, it's time to replace it. Once everything's been cleaned, repaired, or replaced, clear the P0010 code using your OBD2 scanner and take your car for a test drive. And that's it, fixing the P0018 code doesn't have to be complicated. If you followed these steps, you've likely resolved the issue without needing an expensive trip to the mechanic. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.